Hey people, so we're going to mix it up a little bit today. I had a, another request asking to use products that are not super expensive and easy to find. So I went to Walmart and Ulta and got a couple things that are more drugstore type and a lot cheaper and easier to find. This is also going to be a first impressions kind of video because um, pretty much all of these new products that I bought I have never used. So if you want to see me create a look with this then just keep watching. So the first product that I'm going to be using is this eyeshadow primer from Hard Candy. This is nothing new. I've been using it for a very long time. It's five dollars. You can find it at Walmart. So next we're going to set our eyelids with a neutral shadow. Just any neutral shadow will do. This is from the Becca palette, um, Ombre Rouge eye palette I always use. And it doesn't have to be this palette. All you need is a shadow that is um, a neutral shadow just like that. And I did use this Morphe M441 brush. Um, these brushes... <laughs> Sorry guys, you've been here before, you know by now. Mama Bear is always around. These Morphe brushes are also another item that are very easy to find and very affordable. You can go to the Morphe website and order, you know, anything that they have, of course. But if you're like me and sometimes you just want to go get it now, you can go get this stuff at your local Ulta store. Um, and these brushes can range, I mean, in various prices. They get more expensive as, you know, the bigger they get or depending on the collection. But these eye brushes, you typically run between like $2.99, $3.99, something like that. Very affordable and they are my favorite brushes as well. The interest of Morphe. Their palettes in general are just um, extremely affordable. They can also be bought on the Morphe website and they can be bought at your local Ulta store. And I bought two new palettes. One is the Social Butterfly, which is this guy right here, which has a bunch of cool purples in it and greens. And the Artistry palette right here, which is um, a little warmer toned. Both of these palettes, I believe, were like $16. I'll be using the Social Butterfly palette right here, and I'll probably go a little more on the pink purplish side. I'm going to take this first shade called Later Graham right here, and it kind of looks like a Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie Cousin. But I'm going to be putting that in my crease using the Morphe M441 Fluffy Brush just to get that buffed in as your first transition shade. So next, it's about to get crazy. So the next color I'm going to go in with is this super pink shade right here called Besties. Yeah, hashtag Besties. It's very, very pink. <laughs> But I'm gonna put that in my crease using the Morphe M433 brush, which is just more compact. Oh, this pink. <laughs> yeah, we.
blending those two colors together. So the next shade I want to go in with is this shade called Influencer, which is a pretty purple shade. And we're going to put that in the crease from the inner to outer corner. thing I made a boo-boo on is face primer. I did not buy a cheap face primer because I forgot. I use the Veil Mineral Oil Primer Oil Free. Um, the smaller size of this is $19 and still lasts you a pretty long time. There are plenty of primers out there that I'm sure are amazing um, at drugstore prices. I am going to have to do some research, meaning I'm going to have to buy a couple and try them out.
under eyes using the elf um under eye setting powder that i always use this guy right here my walmart used to carry it i haven't been able to find this in a while my sister-in-law found it for me at her target so I don't know if that means they're getting rid of it or only going to sell it online. But you can still get it from the e.l.f. website. Um, I'm pretty sure you could find it at Ulta's website. And I uh, can I bought mine from Amazon before. But um, three bucks and it works just the same as the Laura Mercier powder, which is way more expensive. I'm going to set that with the Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush. This brush, Sigma is not the cheapest line that you're going to find if that's what you're looking for. They're not going to totally break the bank and they are a good quality brush, but for something like this, I just had it. I used to use it as a highlighting brush and I like it better for setting my under eyes. I don't even remember how much it was, but you don't have to buy that brush just to set your under eyes. So now I think I'm going to finish up the eyes. So um, underneath, I'm going to take that pink color called Besties and using a flat definer brush, just going to hug the lash line. Then I'm going to take this color called Makeover that we used and I'm going to put that on top of the pink. Then I'm going to go in with this purple color called Influencer. And with that off-camera black color that we used in the outer corners and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to keep that on the outer corners of my eye I'm not gonna go all the way from the outer to inner corner with this now I'm going to blend all of this together using this Morphe E18 blending brush for underneath the eye I'm not going to be putting on any falsies today, so I am going to put on a, another coat of the Stila Mascara. Okay, so I goofed again, and I did not buy a um, eyeliner from Walmart. I think that NYX has a very good eyeliner, and I think e.l.f. has a pretty good eyeliner. I think what I used to use was the black eyeliner from Wet n Wild when I was younger. Um, so those are all very good alternatives. I'm going to go in with my black Marc Jacobs highliner, eyeliner, and uh, tight line. And
and I'm gonna go over top of it with my Marc Jacobs Pink Flamingo Enamored uh, Lip Lacquer, which is also not a drugstore brand, but I forgot to look for a lip gloss as well. Sorry. So next I'm going to spray my face and I will be using the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. I got this, I believe, for $7.99, somewhere around there from Ulta. So you could order it online or you can probably find this at Walmart, Target, or Ulta. And then we use the fan. And I almost forgot, sorry guys, I don't know why I've been doing that lately, but I do use the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This is like five bucks. I bought this from Ulta as well, and I'm sure that you can find it at, I think I have found it at Target and or Walmart. All right, people, so this is the finished look. This tutorial was very interesting for me because um, it was hard for me too because I don't like to use new products. And you should, you should be open-minded and you should new, you should use new things. And I'm terrible at that. There are some good things that you can find out of doing that. This NYX bronzer that I used, um, I'm gonna see how I like it at the end of the day, but so far, really liked it. This Physician's Formula um, highlight, if you want something that's like right in your face, this is good, it's a cheap alternative. The e.l.f. stuff here, I'm not quite sure it did quite as good of a job as my Tarte CC under eye cream. It still did okay on what I bought it for, but um, I think there's probably something better out there than this, but it's not. She needs some concealer. The Age Rewind, I'm gonna have to like let you guys know how I feel about that. Um, I need to see how it looks like at the end of the day. It would be a lot better if I had a color that I felt actually matched me and I just think I struggled with it a little bit because neither of these colors really seem to match me. Oh, and that NYX um, setting spray, that's something that I've used in the past before as well. Very good if you're on a budget um, and I still think that it keeps your makeup looking good till the end of the day. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. I know that there are people out there that don't want to spend a crap ton of money on makeup. The um, drugstore makeup community seems to be upping their game and making products that are a lot more uh, com compat competitive. That's what I'm looking for. Competitive. So there are several products that you can get that are still very good quality products that you don't have to break the bank on. But I do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you were able to get something out of it that will help you. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and ring the little doorbell thing or the, just click the bell, that bell that's down there. Yeah. So that you are notified anytime I upload a new video. I will see you guys next time.